Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. Today I have a subscription box for you that is near and dear to my heart. One of my all-time favorites and it's been too long since I've had it on the channel. My last unboxing was in December. I'll link all my past unboxings in the description box below. But this is somewhat zen and it's a monthly subscription box. The name says it all. <laughs> the amazing logo says it all. And this box is stuffed to the brim, as you can see, it's kind of coming out the sides. So I cannot wait to see what's inside, and I hope that you can either. So please stay tuned. All right, so I haven't opened it at all yet. This is an adorable little caterpillar, or maybe it's a llama um, sticker. Not too, not too sure. I, why am I thinking caterpillar? It's definitely a llama. All right, moving on. <laughs> And she always has an amazing product guide, and I'm actually, uh, it's the July 2021 box. The theme is Go Outside, so that's an awesome theme for me, especially because I love nature. And so every month um, there is a product guide, and she gives a little, without the spoilers, a little bit about what the box is about and her mindset beyond the box. Uh, the curator, Rochelle, is a very, very sweet lady, and I cannot wait to, sh to show you all the amazing items. Um, you guys have seen these boxes from me before, so you kind of know what to expect. So go outside, for there is much zen to listening to the birds and bees. There is beauty in dancing in the rain, swimming in creeks, creeks and climbing foothills and trees. Our somewhat zen boxes are carefully curated to inspire a bit of calm and tranquility amid your daily hustle. Every month you will receive an 11 piece themed collection that can include handmade goods, bath and body, spiritual and crystals, guides and journals, health and wellness, home decor, whimsical items and more. I do hope that the contents of each box inspire you to simply slow down and just be. And just so you guys know, the current month's August theme is Choose Happy. So I really like that theme as well. I bet you that one's a really good one. Um, so let's get inside, shall we? Uh, I do want to let you guys know until I believe it's the end of August, uh, check out her Instagram page because she has a giveaway going on where you guys can win a free box. So I'm really intrigued. I believe just by going outside, we've got a little bit of bottled water. Uh, that's really cool, but it's hydration is extremely important. Um, yep, it's purified water, extremely important uh, while going outside. So just as you can see she really thinks of everything in terms of going outside. So let's see what else we have. I'm going to do this whole sideways unboxing technique. I'm pulling out this little green pouch. Let's see. This is by the brand Stallmates. Good to go. One flushable hypoallergenic wet wipe. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's obviously always a must and it's light, nice and easily packable and very good to bring outside and let's see that is and they're oh they're also biodegradable so that is also very handy for going outside let's take a look at this the crystal for the month is a raw emerald crystal oh, i love emerald oh thank you rochelle i am so excited for this it's uh it goes with the heart chakra let's get it out of the bag here um, I just like looking at them for their beauty. I don't really get into them much for their properties in terms of what they can quote unquote do for the chakras and all that. But I do like learning about what chakras go with what. But this is what raw emerald looks like. As we all know, emerald is a beautiful stone. This, this is shockingly more gray than green, even in my lighting. But that is super cool, super pretty. Um, it, it lists the zodiacs, the planets, the elements it goes with, etc. It's known for the stone of successful love. The emerald is a life-affirming stone that encourages inspiration and patience. It also enhances unconditional love and friendship. So whoever needs this right now, this is for you. This is for me, and this is beautiful, and I love it. Uh, so I love that one. I'm going to place that there along the little product information sheet see what else we have here. What's this? What is this? Seriously, what is this? Um, <laughs> it says it, it's, it's by the brand Big Nails and it's a brain twister. I'm not really sure. Let's see what the product guide says. 
I'm trying to think how this fits to an outdoor theme as well. Let's see. Hopefully there's not reflection. Oh, there is. Sorry, my ring light, guys. It's all over this thing. Um, a big nails brain twister puzzle. That's like I was thinking it was some sort of puzzle. Let's pause and take a little look here. I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to do. It's very heavy quality. Um, there are some different pictures on the back of the box. I, mean, I, I would assume you'd have to figure out how to take these two pieces apart and make them separate, kind of, which I think might be in that picture. Or maybe that you just have to get them into each of these figure figures. I think that might be more likely, maybe. Let me know if any of you have tried anything like this and what you think um, as to what, what to do with it. Um, in terms of whether they're supposed to come apart or if you're just supposed to make all those designs. But here it is. I mean, obviously it can do different shapes and twist around and test the brains in ways that I'm feeling too zened out to be tested with at the moment. Um, but this would be fun to bring to like a park or maybe give to your kids to play around with if they're bored, if you're on a road trip going to a park, something like that. Uh, I think this is a really cool idea for this type of box. It does let you just be and it kind of lets you take your mind off of anything you're currently thinking about and maybe just trying to figure out this type of uh, puzzle. So that's a really cool, it's a definitely a unique item. One thing I love about this, oh, I didn't, whoa. <laughs> I swear I didn't practice before I came back. I just looked at the box, but uh, hey. So scratch that, I don't need help in the comments. Apparently I'm smart and I know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is amazing. Um, now I gotta get, see if I can get it back together, right? <laughs> um, maybe that's the real challenge. Maybe taking it apart is easy. It's getting it back together. That's the hard part. Let's see. That's with anything in life, right? Um, how did I do it? Shoot, I, don't, I wasn't even paying, I wasn't even fully paying attention. I'm not gloating, I'm not kidding. I, I don't want to spend all the time in the video. I know I'm going to be editing this out. I'm not going to be spending all the time in the video going over this. Oh my gosh. No, I didn't. I thought I got it. Anyway, you guys get the idea. Uh, if I was not under pressure and knowing that time was ticking away, I would totally be working on getting this back. Oh, together. Nope. Okay. Yeah. You guys get the point. <laughs> and you're like, come on, Jess, just keep going with the box. She always packs in a lot of items and these are always long videos. So Jesse, what are you doing? All right. This next item is wrapped up really well. So really, really well. This is super handy to have in the summer. I love this. It's a somewhat zen product. Rochelle does make a lot of her own uh, products on her own. This is a shea butter insect repellent cream made with all natural ingredients. When used regularly, the shea butter cream has the ability to ward off away any insects while moisturizing the skin. So hey, you get um, double benefit there. Whoa, I was not expecting that. I don't know why, let's see. I'm guessing it, oh, I was fully expecting like a citronella type smell, but I'm, I'm not, I'm basically getting like a shea butter smell. That is super cool. So it's, um, I'll give you a look at the lid here. It's shea butter, coconut butter, cocoa butter, neem oil, lavender essential oil, eucalyptus essential oil, and tea tree essential oil. I don't know why there's only half. Um, I'm not sure if it melted in transit. That's a distinct possibility. It has been extremely hot here. Um, so maybe that happened. I, or maybe it just congealed. I don't know. Let me know if anybody knows in the comments below. Um, <laughs> I, I, if, does this even look like the right texture? It looks almost like a scrub. Um, not too sure here about this one. If it, if it ended up transporting okay. I also don't, usually tea tree and eucalyptus are very strong oils. Ooh, it does feel really good on the skin. Oh my goodness. This is giving me a nice sheen and shine and I can already tell I'm gonna, this video is going to be long. Um, wow, it's super soft. I'm honestly though, this, the essential oils could be stronger and 
maybe that's because there's only half of the product in here so there's less of you know it's diluted it's too much or I, I don't know it Rochelle if you're watching help me with this <laughs> let me know um, it's it, you know it's totally fine with me it's not a big deal that there's half in here um, but like I said I think it just maybe congealed differently or I don't know um, but I don't smell much tea tree or eucalyptus or lavender really maybe a little bit of lavender but tea tree and eucalyptus are generally fairly strong and I'm not smelling it um, but it was wrapped up in a nice bag and it didn't leak anywhere, you know, so it's not, not an issue like that. Um, yeah, I'm really just smelling shea butter. I'm really not getting the tea tree. I mean, usually, I'm kind of glad in some ways because a lot of items of tea tree are usually way, way too strong. Um, sorry, I'm going to carry on. Hey, it's a hacky sack. I have a hacky sack. That is super cool. Uh, you guys know what a hacky sack is. I don't have to take it out, but this is a great idea to play with outdoors or at a park or whatever. Um, so in case you don't know, <laughs> the object of the game is to keep the hacky sack uh, ball in the air, keeping the ball off the ground by only kicking it. So whether you're playing it solo or with a group of friends, keep on kicking for hours of relaxation and fun. That's really cool. And I'm Rochelle. I'm wondering if you made this. If you actually, I'm wondering if she actually knitted this together. I'm not sure. Either way, or if she bought it from somebody who did make it. That is super cool. All right. Ooh, we got. Do we have more stones? Yes. She does know I like crystals. Petrified wood. Oh, petrified wood. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's get this baby out. This is. I love petrified wood. I just think it's such a cool phenomenon in nature. Sorry for the crinkling, having difficulties. Wow, this is a really nice piece of petrified wood. Um, so here we go. It's again, it's in raw form. Polished form of petrified wood and emerald. For, for everyone knows emerald looks different. So does petrified wood. Um, this, this is a bit iridescent at times. You can see it in here. We've got another little fact sheet about it. Uh, it's the root chakra in case everyone is anyone's interested. I won't go into the rest But it's one of the strongest grounding stones in the metaphysical world. Gosh, do I ever need this right now? Formed over millions of years when woody stems of plants are buried in wet sediments saturated with dissolved minerals It is infused with the energy of the earth. It can help those to achieve calm patience transformation and peace of mind So I really like this is a really great stone and a really great piece really awesome specimen I really love both both raw crystals definitely calling to me right now <laughs> I absolutely love them both let's see and oh my goodness what's this is this what is oh okay we got something similar in one of her boxes gosh I don't even know if it was 2020 or 29 when, when was my first somewhat then was it 2020 or 2019 um, this is another type of wooden massager, if you guys recall. I can't remember for the life of me which month it was that I posted the wooden massager from before. But the other one was kind of like a handheld object. This is, um, this reminds me of the top from that uh, movie Inception. Um, this is really neat though. This I bet this would feel really good in spots. This might be really good for reflexology uh, for anybody who practices. This feels really good on the skin. It's nice, smooth, solid, polished wood. It's also lightweight. Uh, let's see. I'm going to read, read more about this. I'm not too familiar with what to do with it. Oh, <laughs> I swear I did not read this ahead of time. <laughs> Hand and foot reflexology massager. I'm starting to know what I'm talking about. Uh, when used regularly, this unique massager can help improve, strengthen, sorry, can help <laughs> improve strength, flexibility, and circulation while deterring pain associated with stress, injury, arthritis, and fibromyalgia. That is awesome. So how to use, you grip the massager with one hand while you massage the palm of your, of your hand and soles of your feet. Use the points in the cube to apply pressure. Massager can also be used to, rela used to relax the muscles in your head, neck and back. So <clears throat> like I was kind of doing naturally there, for reflexology, you know, you could do different things. I actually took a couple of reflexology sessions. Uh, you could kind of go up and down uh, the fingers or something like that. There's a bunch of different trigger points. You can kind of look them up online, but I do recommend, obviously, especially if you have arthritis or any health conditions, um, getting some interesting, you know, getting a professional 
feedback or some professional guidance, of course. But it can be really relaxing. Like this, doing this is kind of a really nice thing. And I'm going to move on, but you guys get the, <laughs> get the idea. I just, uh, this is it's so smooth. It's really relaxing to play with. And not just to play with, but my, my left hand is I can already feel the tension just melting away, whereas my right hand still feels tense because I, I didn't do it to the right hand. Um, I really like that. Ooh, I'm seeing beads. There are beads, folks. <clears throat> I'm betting this is handmade. Rochelle Tense, the handmaker jewelry, and I am a huge fan of her jewelry, her art, all of her handmade products. This is perfect for this month, you guys. This is freaking gorgeous. I love this. I absolutely love this. This is exactly what I needed to open tonight. I really wanted something just to make me happy, and these are my kinds of products, you guys, in case no one's ever really noticed. Um, and this kind of box is really some of the things I like. Obviously, I like a lot of, I like a lot of things. My interests are branching out, but when it comes down to the basis of things, you could almost use this as a mala or a necklace, but wow, this is be a great necklace. Let's see what the product guide says. I swear I didn't read ahead of time. Um, she does intend it to be used as a necklace. So it's a salvaged wooden bead necklace. Salvaged wood. Wow. It's very, very lightweight. I was going to say these are extremely light, lightweight beads. I can't wait to find out what the blue is. The wooden beads featured in this boho necklace are, are salvaged from a vintage beaded curtain. Whoa beaded curtain. That is so cool. Natural wooden beads are meant to bring an abundance of good health into into the life of the wearer. This is never coming off of my body, I'm just saying. <laughs> this necklace is accented with genuine glass or lava beads. The necklace is 24 inches long and can be also worn as a chunky, chunky wrapped bracelet. Enjoy. Wow. So these are glass beads because I, I definitely don't have lava beads. Because um, they're not porous, so they're not lava. I, I'm, I prefer the glass. I love the glass. Uh, this is, I absolutely love this. I'm not going to, um, I am adorning, I'm wearing a amethyst bracelet, by the way, guys, that I won from the web, the website um, Giveably, the company Giveably. I think I've worn some of their other bracelets in, in other videos, but I won this on their Instagram page. They do giveaways occasionally, you guys, if you're interested in, there it goes with FabFitFun, right? Um, if you're interested in beaded crystal bracelets, Giveably is a really fun. The beauty of YouTube is that you can look up <laughs> how to do this because I'm failing miserably. I, I at one point I had two lay levels relatively even. I kind of do, but then this third one is just wild child dear. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I've never wrapped a bracelet, a necklace into a bracelet or anything of the sort. But you get the idea. I would love to. I am going to look up how to do this because I think. I want to wear this in a future unboxing, first of all. This is so gorgeous. Would I look completely dorky if I wear it on my hand just like this? Yeah, I'm going to. For the rest of the unboxing, it's fine. It's all good. We're, we're good here, right? Yeah, we're good. Um, the, the items just keep on coming, you guys. So we have a chapstick here. It's a lip, oh, sorry, lip butter, rather, in tangerine, moisturizing and soothing. I'm just going to leave that in the package for the sake of time. I know I'm going way over. Um, I wanted to see what brand, you guys will see why I'm seeing what brand, maybe, that it is. It, um, does have, um, it has beeswax in it, coconut oil, petroleum, paraffin, does that say paraffin? Paraffin, sorry, it's so tiny. Cetyl alcohol, soybean oil, cocoa butter, olive oil, vitamin E, NNA flavors, and st stevia. I'm not a big fan of stevia, but as long as I don't have to ingest it and swallow it. I'm fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love tangerine. It's a great scent, great flavor. Let's see. And then there's an electrolyte drink mix. That's also very important um, for going outside, obviously keeping up with not only our fluids, but our electrolytes. And this is by the brand Tactical. And it is the flavored wild berry. And it makes 16 fluid ounces. So that's a pretty cool idea for going outside. Uh, I love her boxes, each theme in each item. It just each theme, you, you've got so many different items each month. It's just such a huge variety. Um, you'll never know what you're going to get. I've gotten handmade soaps. I've gotten handmade body washes, massage oils. You name it, I think I've got it in this box. I got a whimsical gnome, you know, to hold her whole whimsical category. And I got a real zine. Oh, my goodness. 
she does either mini zines every month or being like small little magazine type things or a bigger one I haven't gotten a bigger one in a while so thank you Rochelle um, it's probably just the the month random months that I'm like hey I want one of these boxes I miss somewhat then um, I did buy this one by the way you guys know I have gotten them free for re review in the past but I did buy this one because I miss this box so much and I needed it in my life. I really wanted to reward myself. Honestly, I was really drawn. I, I did hear that the, the crystal ahead of time was emerald, um, so I was drawn to that. So it's Paws, a mini break activity book, and this would be the Zine. She's got All About Me, a crossword puzzle, um, a coloring page, rainbow quote, daily intentions, track might take time for yourself quote, get free. Tree Hugger Henry Coloring Page, Tic Tic Tac Toe, Grow Wherever You Are Planted Quote, Pause for Self Care, Adventurous. Okay, sorry, why don't we just look? <laughs> Take time for yourself. It's it's fun, it's simple, it's like if you like to doodle or color, you can give this to your kids. Oh my goodness, I used to love word searches as a kid. I was so quick at these things. Now they would drive my eyes batty, but I still love these beads. Um <laughs> So you can look for daily intentions like successful, loving, motivated, adventurous, humble, playful. You get the idea. Those are really cool. Big, oh, grow wherever you're planted. I love that coloring. The tic tac toe is super cool. Spoil yourself. Get your hair and nails done. Upgrade your wardrobe. Buy yourself something on your I want that list. Check. I got somewhat then the July box. Yes, I did, my friends. And um, I, I did get it late. I kind of asked her after the fact that if there was any still available. Um, take care of your body. Drink lots of water. We can do that. Eat raw fruits and veggies. I do that all the time. Detox regularly. Only liquids after 7 p.m. That one I can't do. I need to stay hydrated all day and all night. Wish I could. Meat-free Mondays. Oh, I need my protein. I have to admit. I know, plant-based proteins are out there. I know, I know, I know. I can get by on uh, plant-based pasta, and I'm really rambling. Exfoliate and moisturize your skin. Check, even if I don't want to repel insects, I've got this as a moisturizer. Moisturizer. My hand still is kind of glistening from that, too. I know I always go into way too much detail about her designs, but she makes hand makes these herself. So I just really like to spend the time showing you everything. I mean, can you imagine hand making? All, look at all these little symbols. Uh, there must be some type of computer program. What is this, Hangman? Oh, that's so cool. What is this? I stopped reading the table of contents. Now I don't know what it is. Unscramble the quote. Oh, there's a key. This is so neat. So there's a key. Each icon responds to correlates to a letter and then you unscramble the quote. And there's two of them. That is, oh, I really like that. I might have to go through and do that. That looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> this is super cool. Super hippie. Let your music soothe your soul. <laughs> I'm not going to sing. <laughs> there's been some unboxings lately where I've sang. I like she has some blank pages if you ever want to doodle or jot down your thoughts. You can journal. Whatever you want to do. Uh, oh, crossword answer key. Don't want to see that. Oh, and there's a little bit about Rochelle, and I, she's such a fascinating, impressive woman. I, I just have to share some about her in case you don't know from my pre previous unboxings. Born on the beautiful island of Trinidad, Rochelle Adair is a certified mindfulness coach, writer, and small business owner. Her passions include spreading awareness of all things zen, healthy, and eco-friendly. She also enjoys creating a variety of handmade lovelies. When she is not coaching, writing, or creating, Rochelle can be found being super awesome with her family in northern Kentucky. So, there we have it. Somewhat zen for July 2021. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. My favorite item... Oh my gosh. This is a sign in the thing. Uh, in the thing. In the view. Yes, it is. I'm really torn, but I want to learn how to wear this as a bracelet. And then this is going to be become my favorite item. I, I, I will, of course, wear it as a necklace, too, but you guys uh, won't be seeing that in videos. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. I might even use it as a mala. Um, I did get an official mala in a 
Travai box that I never got to show you guys. I might post some pictures at some point on Instagram, but ah, oh, this is just I love the wooded beads. Um, and obviously both crystals, the petrified wood, well crystals, minerals, uh, petrified wood, and the emerald. Those these are by far my favorite three items. Three items in the box. Let me know what you guys think. What are your favorites? I think this is a great theme. Get outdoors. Cool items, variety, definitely one of the most variable items that you don't get in other subscription boxes. So those awards definitely go to something like this. Although I have seen some boxes that are um, based on items like this, which is super cool. Hacky sack, I can't say I've ever seen a hacky sack in a subscription box. Love it. Um, so, you know, just th things like this, wooden massagers. Uh, you, you get massagers and fab fit fun and stuff, but nothing handcrafted, made, wooden, carved, you know, nothing special like this. So, anyway, I digress. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, thank you always for hanging out with me and for all of your support as I unbox July's Somewhat Zen Box. And until next time, guys, get outdoors, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.